Hey there, so I'll be showing you the in-game shop of Disney Speedstorm and how the microtransaction may turn out to be like. Please note that this is just a showcase of what's currently in the closed beta and things may or may not be the same in the final game. So take this as an early view of what to expect. And with that said, let's start with the currencies first. Now if you take a look right here, we have a total of 3 currencies so far in Disney Speedstorm. The first one on the left is called the multiplayer coin. This coin is earned by playing the rank mode and racing against other real life players in the closed beta. The middle one is what is referred to as the seasonal coin. These coins can be earned by completing challenges like for example in the battle pass or earned through single player missions. The final one doesn't really have a name for it yet but let's call it the microtransaction coins. Now this is just a speculation but this currency is probably going to be the one where you buy with real life money. Reason being is because it is actually used to buy the battle pass and more season coins which I'll be sharing more about it later on. So far in the closed beta, there are no way to spend real life money yet. So these coins are earned through playing events, achievements and such right now. So now that we've glanced through the 3 currencies, let's start by going through what's in the shop. First off, obviously there will be a battle pass. These are called the golden pass in Disney Speedstorm and it will be based on a seasonal period. Which means new battle passes will be released periodically. And as like any other battle passes, you will be able to level it up and gain rewards for each level. This EXP for leveling up the battle pass can be gained through challenges that the battle pass offered. There might be some other means of leveling up the battle pass in the future, so do keep that in mind. The next section is referred to as For You. These are mainly spent by using the blue microtransaction currency and they mainly consist of upgrade materials in the closed beta. Moving on to the following areas, these are what I would like to call as the individual sections. For example, the first section here will be a Mulan focus purchase, such as loot boxes for Mulan, upgrade materials for Mulan as well, and more. And then if we move down, you can see a section that is dedicated to Mickey and Friends. So again, loot boxes for the Mickey and Friends category, upgrade materials and more. And if you move down again, it will be a Pirates of the Caribbean section. So I'm pretty sure you get the point right now. So this will continue until it covers most or all of the movies and after that, it will be a fresh new section called the currencies. Now this was just recently added into the closed beta shop and it is where you can spend the microtransaction currency for more seasonal coins. So there are pack 1, pack 2, pack 3 and etc. Now if we move below that, you will see a new section again called boxes. So far there are only one box in here which is called the universal box. But I'm pretty sure that more will be added in the near future. But just to keep things short, the universal box is a loot box where it consists of all items you can get in the game for all movies combined. So if you for example want to get something from Pirates of the Caribbean, the universal box might be a little bit difficult for you as you can also get things from Mulan, Beauty and the Beast and more. And for the final section of the shop, if you move down furthermore, these are the daily specials. So far in the closed beta, it includes 1 free redeemables for every reset and these items will change accordingly to a set timing. Things in here are pretty random and the currency they use are also pretty random. So this is a pretty fun place to be at to visit and see what's installed for you for every time being. And yeah, that is a quick showcase of the in-game shop so far. Do let me know your thoughts on it and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this. And while you're still here, do check out on these two videos as well as you may enjoy them just as much as I did in making them. This is the Viper signing off, thanks for watching and as always, stay awesome.